Jump up, let's pop me up, pop me up. What's going on everybody? Friday the 14th here for you for the Triple Flex Mafia channel. And it is a new month. We're in the month of June now. We're in the summertime. Feeling good, hot weather, making a fat guy sweat. Anyways, this month we are doing our top five creature features. And I am the Ricky Henderson of the team this month. I'm the leadoff hitter, just smacking dingers, stealing bases, all that good shit. But anyways, like I said, this is our top five creature features. Mine... It's going to be a little bit different from the other guys. We may have some similarities down the road. Who knows? Anyways, let's get into my top five creature features. <laughs> that was corny as fuck. All right, my number five is probably not going to be on anybody else's list. It may not be on anybody's top five creature features list, but this is the first movie I saw that got me into my Bigfoot craze as, as a kid, and that is The Legend of Bo Boggy Creek. This movie is absolutely cheesy. I think it's from 1972. I mean, the guy that's in the, the Bigfoot costume, I mean, you can totally tell it's a costume, but it's the early 70s. But this is the movie, like I said, that got me into loving Bigfoot and everything around Bigfoot. I get made fun of all the time. Lori, I know you're out there. You'll appreciate this one. She's also a, a Bigfoot lover, but just... This movie's super cheesy. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's not very it's not shot very well. It's based on like a documentary style, but just just the Bigfoot looks looks uh, just bad. But I have a soft spot for it. Um, like I said, it's what got me. This is the first Bigfoot movie I ever watched, and it's what got me interested in Bigfoot. But I've had this DVD for a while. It's, I don't even know who puts it. Cheesy Entertainment, Cheesy Films puts this out. I'm not lying to you. It's called Cheesy Films, if you can see that. But this is getting a 4K and Blu-ray release sometime this year. I saw it uh, advertised on Facebook or something like that. If that's true, it's going to be fucking amazing, and I cannot wait. But my number five creature feature is The Legend of Boggy Creek. All right, my number four, I guarantee, is not going to be on the other guys. Uh, list as well. This one, uh, I saw this a couple years ago and absolutely loved it. I, it's it's a great movie. It's a it's a found footage movie, and that's Troll Hunter. Uh, if you've never seen this, I, it may still be on Netflix, but it's definitely worth checking out. Um, it's a group of three people that go to Norway to find a local hunter that hunts down trolls, and the rest is history. And every all the old fairy tales and all that stuff kind of come true with this movie i mean it's the visuals are awesome like i said it's shot found footage style so that, that makes me like it even more so but man when the when the trolls come out and it, it gets fucking crazy in this movie it's pretty bloody too so uh it is rated pg-13 so that could have made it into my i don't know if, it, if you necessarily call this a horror movie i put it with my horror movies but it's a lot of fun um yeah just just uh, the, the title says it all. It's Troll Hunter. Troll Hunter. The ending the ending is fucked up, though. But I have a lot of fun with it. It has a soft spot for me, and that's why it's number four on my top five list. All right, number three for me hits a little soft spot because it takes place in the Appalachian Mountains, and we go up to the Smoky Mountains every year. But you can guarantee from one thing that that's for damn sure, I would not do what the ladies do in this movie and go, what is it called, spelunking, cave diving, that kind of shit. I'm too fat, it's too small places, but the, my number three is The Descent. This movie is absolutely terrifying. It gives me claustro, it makes me claustrophobic just watching this movie. Like I said, I'd never put myself in this situation. I would not go into any, any caves unless they have big openings, but th the situations that they are put into, I, there's no way. Especially like the tight, tight quarters where they had to slide through. Mm -mm. No, nope. I just said, Lord, take me now. And then all of a sudden, these fucking creatures just start coming out of nowhere and start killing people and eating people. And yeah, yeah, they're absolutely terrifying. But that's another reason I don't like the oceans. It just movies like this just just take me all out of it. I'm never going cave diving just because of this movie. Well, that and I'm fat, so I wouldn't fit. But this movie is terrifying. If you've never seen The Descent, I highly recommend it. Don't watch The Descent too, because it 
it sucked. But this one, when it came out, absolutely fell in love with it. I can't, I've watched this numerous, numerous times, and it's, it holds up every time you watch it. But and then of course the little twist in the movie too gets you get your blood boiling. But yeah, I highly recommend this movie. The descent, the creatures are absolutely terrifying in this one. Even I think they're blind. And they go by sound and movement and all that stuff. But just the way they move around, how they're shot. Um, the one scene where the chick comes up in the pool of blood. and all, It's just just fantastic. But yeah, number three for me is The Descent. You know, I had to put a werewolf movie on this list. And I only wanted to put one. I could have put numerous of them. But I had to put my favorite werewolf movie of all time on the list. And that is The Howling. Just absolutely fantastic joe dante did an absolutely amazing job with this movie this movie holds up so well like i said it's my favorite werewolf movie just the gore the effects uh yeah just just amazing the transformation scenes i love them i know everybody likes american werewolf in london probably better than this one but i love the howling just just for nostalgia reasons i remember seeing this up at my grandparents house with my uncle he's the one that got me into the horror movies but this was the first werewolf movie I've ever seen it's my favorite werewolf movie um there's a lot of close seconds I mean American Werewolf in London's great uh Dog Soldiers is great um The Wolfman with Benicio Del Toro that's an awesome werewolf movie I've never seen The Beast Within so I definitely need to check that one out but my favorite uh werewolf movie of all time favorite creature one of my favorite creatures from a creature feature is a werewolf so yeah had to put the howling on this list and numero uno for me is an alien movie and that is the thing i mean what more can be said i know this will be probably be in the top of a lot of people's list i don't know if it'll be on the other guy's list but this movie is absolutely amazing everybody know the practical effects are top notch in this movie i mean it, to me this is one of the best practical effects movies that's ever been put out, in my opinion. I mean, they are just absolutely fantastic with the the alien taking over the uh, the people's body and transforming out of it. The uh, the the heart scene where the defibrillator defibrillator scene with the mouth and all that stuff is great. The, I hate it for the dogs, but the the dog scene is fantastic. The music's great. John Comforter killed it in this one as well with his directing. Just the snow setting, the, the solitarity of the movie and being stuck with a scary ass alien, just terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Music's good in this one. The score is real simple to this one for being a John Comforter movie, but it's still done really, really well. So yeah, the number one for me for Creature Feature is a no-brainer and that is The Thing. And that's it. My top five Creature Features. It's a really interesting list. My, my top three are are easy ones that would be on a lot of people's lists. My five and four probably are not going to be on anybody else's list. So definitely get down in the comments. Let me know what you think of my top five. Um, also put your top five down there too. I'd like to see that as well. But yeah, you know the regular. We're putting out videos two to three times a week. Uh, you got the Chatty Bobcast that's coming out every Wednesday. That is absolutely hilarious. Great Great time filler when you're in the car. Um, great entertainment. And then you get a random video every Monday and Friday from us. So, yeah, just keep pouring out the content. We appreciate all the subs, all the new people. If you are new watching this video, definitely give us a sub. Um, like I said, we're putting out a ton of content. Um, yeah, what else is there? Uh, hit that dinger. Knock it out of the park like usual, like Ken Murphy. Uh, you got, I don't know who's next, but you got Mark McGuire and Jose Canseco batting behind Ricky Henderson. So, you're definitely going to get two more top fives in the next two weeks. So definitely tune in for those. And I think that's pretty much it. So until next time, we thank, we can't thank everybody enough that sub to the channel that gives us constant support. Thank you all so, so, so much. Um, I think we're planning on doing a live stream here soon. We haven't done one in a, in a long, I think since my, uh, my bloody Valentine was the last live stream. So we definitely need to get back on doing one of those here soon. But yeah. Sub if you're new, comment down below, hit the dinger, all that good shit. Until next time, we out.